Fans of classic sci-fi fantasy or 70s synth prog rock may need to brace themselves for the likes of White Whale Games' God of Blades. With writing that invokes shades of H.P. Lovecraft and Robert E. Howard, and artwork that feels like a nightmare trip through Frank Frazetta's mind, there's not an inch of this game that isn't dripping with a strangely appealing otherworldly sheen. These connections are strengthened even further thanks to the game's four chapters having their own Pulp Fiction novel book cover astride a paragraph of text describing the further exploits of the Nameless King as he attempts to tear down the Sable King's army. In each chapter you'll face down various enemies, side-scrolling automatically, and only stopping briefly as you swipe to strike out at these foes. Swipe back and you'll parry incoming strikes. Swipe forward and you'll spin and strike in a dangerously slow offensive parry. Downward swipes are likewise just as slow but cause brutal amounts of damage in a long arc, while upward swipes provide short range but fast moving blows that can knock enemies into your next opponent. At first it's awkward to time these blows, especially as each enemy has its own distinct behaviour that you must learn to counter. But in no short time you'll master the flow of combat no matter the size and speed of the weapon you wield. As such, the combat eventually becomes mundane, with the bulk of the campaign held up by the breathtaking locations they're set in and the story that unfolds during and between these scenes. New blades are quickly unlocked thanks to experience earned from combat, either in the campaign or endless eternal mode providing access to larger or smaller weapons, each with their own distinct look, history, and special attack. In a curious twist, there are three unlockable swords that require you to physically visit libraries within a 12-hour cooldown between each unlock. Given the strong links to fantasy fiction in the presentation of the game, it's no surprise the developers would want to encourage players to seek out these classics for themselves. Ultimately, God of Blades feels like the gaming equivalent of an hors d'oeuvre. It's packed to the brim with tasty components and its presentation is near flawless, but you're left craving more and even with its procedurally generated boss fights in the eternal mode, it comes off feeling all too same-ish. With any luck, future updates will continue the story of the Nameless King or perhaps the Whispering Lady and we'll finally get our fill. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.